So we're talking or what? This is the question. Well, I want to talk. This is what you're saying. Are they open to communicate? Because uh, I have something that I want to say. Um, uh, will they listen? Are they going to change their mind? Because I want things to work out. You're thinking right now of all the different possibilities of making sure that the text and the call that you're going to send either to a water sign or a fire sign that things will go smoothly as planned. You don't want to screw up. This is what you're saying. Okay, Leos. <laughs> Your first card is right away a card of victory, and we know Leos like to win. And losing, let me see, yeah, is not an option. King of Cups over here is showing now either you want to express your true feelings. That's a King of Cups. And then the Three of Wands is more of, like, if I express my true feelings, is it going to be welcome? by your person because this is about like wanting to have a serious committed relationship or is it going to move forward you guys gonna be can be in a long distance relationship a so sorts is travel documents mm -hmm. okay let's see um, but before we start welcome to Eatreed Love store if you're wondering where I'm at this is our store here in Los Angeles it's been here for the past three we're going on our fourth year um, and if you're wondering, okay, we do have our summer sale and it's the best sale that you can ever have. It's up to 70% off and we also ship international. You can find from tarot cards, you can have some singing bowls right there, organites, you, you got the word, some smudge over there. Okay, it's, the whole, it's, it's a metaphysical shop, okay, besides our jewelry. So check it out, you know, you won't regret it. Trust me on that one. Okay, it's amazing deals. Okay, um, oh, you can click on any of the corner of the video or in the description for the link for the store. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I will not stop promoting my store because this is what I do. Okay, like some people like to date toxic people. That's what you do. I like stores. You understand me? <laughs> I have no problem with you. So don't have a problem with my store. Thank you. You've just been checked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. So you're stuck because you're still thinking, do they love me? Do they want to be with me? You know, you got a king and queen of cups over here. Okay, and Leos can accept my sassiness. The true Leos out there who's an OG, they know. If you're new, you're welcome. Okay, here we go. You're stuck because the hangman over here and the ten of cups Day and night, the only thing I can think of is being with them. Mm -hmm. Maybe connecting with a Scorpio or a Pisces, and then you have a two of ones over here with a star card. You got a lot of speculation, Leo. You got a lot of wondering about. One thing that you're wondering about with the Seven of Swords here is if they have someone else ready. Seven of Swords is that because they've been avoiding you. Mm -hmm. So now you've been snooping. So. You do feel like you have so much love for this person, the works, you see the future with them. Yeah, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Pisces also is here in Cancer. Before I start, eh, no, a little bit, I want to talk about the star manifesting. It's so stressful to put so much effort into your desires just for them to fall short. Not everyone will tell you this, but you can use crystals as a magnet to become a natural attractor of anything you can dream of. Get your magnetic crystal bracelet today. Okay, um, so I feel like you don't have any kind of shortcomings here, Leo. You said what you said and you meant it. You said you're sorry, Page of Pentacles. Because you just didn't want to leave things, you know, not in a good way, which is good. It's very nice of you because you considered the relationship and the connection. The moon is here with the Eight of Wands. You really thought like you expressing yourself um, will make, you know, will, oh, sorry, will make things happen or work. Ooh, you know that if a card drops for me as an omen, 
something is about to change, like drastic, drastic. Okay, it's my omen. Ooh, four of wands with a three of cups. Something's about to change in this relationship. That's what they're saying here. Mm. You're really going for this. I don't sense that you, oh, well, there you go. Not anymore. Oh, not anymore, so. I guess that change. Eight of swords with a three of swords. Yep. You're not got you first, yes. Justice with a chart. I'm here for victory. But now you have more paranoia than anything else. Now, if you are trying to manifest here something about your wealth and your success, you have to stay consistent. There's no eight of pentacles here, but it's a card of consistency. But if you know that you're consistent about what you're doing, of course. You're gonna reach a star, but when you're going for the star, for your success, fame, money, wealth, like that, you gotta have some extra boost. And I created, this is the magnetic, okay, um, bracelet collection where it magnetizes. You become the natural magnet of what you're manifesting, your dreams and desire. Comes in this wonderful box, okay? It says e tree Love. Okay, you can check it, it's in the description. Okay, and we ship international. I'll put it here, yeah. Okay. I, I like that, but I have to put it there. But also my PL, real gold. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, eight of swords with a three of swords right now, you feel like this is impossible. Yeah, you just, this is what you're thinking. It's like, I can't, I don't think it's gonna happen, so. Um, even though I tried how many times, either they won't respond or they're denying you some sort of access. Okay, let me just move this here. Mm -mm. Let me see. Okay. Uh huh. Definitely holding back and doesn't want you to know what they're doing. They have the Four of Pentacles, the King of Swords, and the Nine of Pentacles. The way I see this, let me just open your chart here. Oh, Venus and Mars is in Leo. How does it work? Mars and Leo in the first house. You're very active right now, so that's the chariot right there. But Mars in the first house does not help the seventh house, which is partnership. Saturn not really looking at Mars right now because it's in retrograde. The seventh house Lord is in retrograde. Hence, you want probably reconciliation. Um, Venus in the first, very attractive, very good for you. This is where it's going to retrograde. So you're going to be torn between wanting them and not wanting them because I feel like they're giving you this whole mix signals. Mm -hmm. You may want to cut them off, three of swords. Mm. Oh. Well... It does appear here. Eight of Swords, Eight of Wands, Five of Cups with a Knight of Wands. Your person is too scared to address the truth. Like, what is going on between the two of you? They cannot. For whatever reason, your person is giving me the vibes of, like, they don't have the same courage as you are, where when you want something, you go get it. They're opposite of that. They allow their fear and emotion, you know, to get the best of them. And it shows here with the Knight of Wands, okay, and the Eight of Swords, they do like to overthink instead of communicate Eight of Wands. And when they overthink, this is where you will find them. You won't be able to reach out. You won't be able to hear from them because they're scared. Mm. It's giving me the feeling of they're scared to get emotionally involved right now. But they're wondering, oh, I did a Scorpio reading. You got a Four of Cups in the Sun, and the Sun was a very um, significant uh, card for them. So watch that if you're connecting with a Scorpio. Um, with the Sun and the Six of Pentacles, mm -hmm, you see that? This is a person who probably, would, uh, on their end, they're trying, but they're still holding back. So either they don't want to be forced, the way I see this is the Six of Pentacles with the Two of Wands. They're taking a step back. Yes, they have an Ace of Pentacles. So they're keeping themselves reserved. Okay, like whatever that you really, really want from them. Ace of Pentacles, Two of Wands, and the 
um, Ace of Pentacles, they are going to make sure that it's the last. If they even offer that to you, being serious, you know, Ace of Pentacles is a serious committed relationship. Mm -hmm. Why they didn't tell you this, that like what they really want from you? They should have. I feel like you will understand, especially you, knowing that you have so much hope for this and so much love. If you see this, I feel like your mind will change. If you see it. And if they are honest with you, which I think they are going to, maybe like, 50, 50. If you want to know more about this reading and you're connecting with it, I will continue with this. In the description box, there is a link for extended reading or you can connect with me at the corners of this uh, video. You will see a link over there. I'll see you.